sa mga biyayang nagmula sa Diyos Ama natin. Behold, our Lord will come with power to enlighten the eyes of His servants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. They recognized the Lord and confessed him with exaltation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit, proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find him and recognize him in the breaking of the bread until he comes again revealed in glory. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all light, who in this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles which we are eager to carry in praise of your name, so that, treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us go in peace and meet the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen. Oh God Almighty 
mighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Can we put off our candles? A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God. No, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly, there will come to the temple the Lord whom you see, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lyre. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? 
It is the Lord. Leap up, O gauge, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Leap up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up your ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the lateral to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise share in them, that through the death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and free those through fear of death have been subject to slavery of their life. Surely he did not help angels but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ. Of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus 
to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we celebrate the feast of the presentation of the Lord in the temple. The presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Forty days have passed after Jesus was born he is now presented by his parents to the temple. Opo, 40 days pa lang po iyon. No? Parang ang tagal, no? Tagal na nung buong January. No? Ang tagal, parang ang haba nung January. Pero 40 days pa lang yun. After Jesus was born. 40 days after Christmas. Now, we are celebrating the presentation of Jesus. Mary and Joseph brought Jesus in the temple. And this is also the time for Mary and Joseph to undergo the purification process as prescribed by the law. According to the law, every woman who conceived and discharged blood, kapag ang babae dinudugo, she shall be considered unclean, marumi. And anyone who touches her will also be unclean. That is why they need to undergo the purification process. Kaya meron silang rito ng paglilinis. Dahil si Maria dinugo, tingin ng lipunan, siya'y marumi. Siyempre, asawa niya si Jose, no? eh, magkasama sila 40 days. No? Considered na rin marumi si San Jose kasi nahawakan siya. No? Or else, lalayuan sila ng mga tao. Kasi they are considered unclean. But of course, Mary is immaculate. Tingin lang yun ng mga tao. But Mary is immaculate. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang bahidungis. She is spotless. She's not dirty. But because they are righteous, matuwid silang mag-asawa ni San Jose, sila ay marunong sumunod sa batas. They followed the law. Not because they are unclean, but because they are righteous. Yun yung unang ibig sabihin ng pagdadala kay Jesus sa templo. It is also to undergo the purification process. Well, at the same time, it is also the fulfillment of the law. May isa pa, sinasabi ang batas. No? Ang daming batas nila, no? Ganyan yung mga hudyo. According to the law, every male, patang lalaki, opening the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Ang panganay na lalaki na isisilang ay banal para sa Diyos, holy to the Lord. And they should offer a sacrifice, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. This is the reason why Jesus was presented to the temple because he is the firstborn of Mary. A male, kailangan dalhin sa templo, ihandog sa Diyos, together with the offerings, the animal sacrifice. Normally, the firstborn 
firstborn son would be either be given to the sanctuary to be raised as a priest. Kung gusto ng mga magulang na maging pare ang kanilang anak na lalaki, iaalay. Pero kung hindi, they had to be brought, they had to be bought back. Kailangan tubusin with five shekels. Ganun yung law. Kung hindi mo gustong maging uh, pare iyong iyong anak, you have to redeem your son. Bibilin mo siya sa halagang five shekels. But St. Luke did not mention whether Jesus was offered as a priest or if ever he was redeemed. Walang sinabi. Inalay ba siya? o binili siya. Hindi binanggit ni San Lucas sa ating Ebanghelyo. But the great mystery here is that Jesus was brought to the temple and was presented and consecrated for the service of the royal priesthood. Jesus himself is not redeemed, but he is the Redeemer. Hindi siya binili. Hindi siya tinubos. Siya ang naging manunubos. And Mary and Joseph did not bring sacrifice, animal sacrifice. What did they bring? They brought Jesus. Because Jesus is the sacrifice himself. He is the offering himself. Ang kaling, no? Si Jesus... <laughs> Hinigitan pa nila yung batas. They did not bring anything to be an offering of sacrifice. They brought Jesus as the sacrifice. They did not redeem Jesus. Hindi nila tinubos si Jesus. Jesus is the Redeemer. Si Jesus mismo ang manunubos. This is what we are celebrating today. We have a Jesus who is the Redeemer. We have a Jesus who is the sacrifice for all of us. Kaya nga, nakilala siya ni na Ana at Simon. Simeon. Oh, nakilala siya. When they met Jesus in the temple, they recognized Him. As the Messiah, He is the light. Kanina, we bless the candles before we start the Mass. These candles symbolize Jesus Himself as our light, ilaw ng ating buhay, the light that would enlighten us when things are blurry, the light that would light our path so that we won't get lost. Ilaw, para hindi tayo madapa. That is the symbol of the candles that we bless today. So please, for those who have their candles blessed, use it whenever you are in darkness, whenever you are confused, whenever you want to be enlightened, use that candle because that symbolizes Jesus as the light. Pwede na rin. Sige, pag brown out. Sige. Kasi madilim eh. No? Hopefully, wag ka madapa. No? Oh, but that more likely as a symbol of the light. Kaya nga kapag nagdadasal tayo, di ba, we offer candle. Nagsisindi tayo ng kandila because we want to be enlightened. That's an offering. We're asking for light. Lord, enlighten me. Lord, I'm in, I am in darkness. Please give me light. Lord, I am confused. I am at a loss. Please give me light that I may be enlightened. That's how it is. I know we have so many bars around the neighborhood. Tama po ba? No? If you are confused, if you are in darkness, don't go there. Huh? 
Eh, Father, may ilaw doon eh. Patay sindi ilaw doon. Huh? Gusto mo ba sa patay sindi kesa sa maliwanag na ilaw? Go to the church and you will find the light. No, ililigaw ka doon kasi patay sindi ilaw doon. O baka madilim doon. No? If you are in darkness, if you are confused, if you want to be enlightened with the things that happening around us in our life, go to the church and you will find Jesus who is our light that will give you light. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what we are celebrating today. We have Jesus. We have a light that you can find in the church. So whenever you are in darkness and in need of light, go to the church and you will find Jesus who will be the source of our light in our life. Amen. Please all stand. The Lord shows to the just man, Simeon, Jesus, the light for the revelation to the Gentiles. May the hearts of the faithful rejoice in the brilliance of that light that never fades. We pray and say, Lord, be the light of our life. Lord, be the light of our life. May Jesus, the light of the world, shine on those who walk in the darkness of sin, unbelief, and unrepentance. We pray, Lord, be the light of our life. May today's Feast of the Encounter remind us that Jesus is at the center of our lives and that he draws us to God's house, to the church, where we can meet him, recognize him, and embrace him. We pray, Lord, be the light of our life. May consecrated men and women renew their encounter with the Lord who fills their hearts with peace and joy to the very end. We pray, Lord, be the light of our life. May the blessed candles that we carry in possession expire us to walk in the path of righteousness so that we may be lights to each other. We pray, Lord, be the light of our life. May the elderly experience the joy of holding the Lord in their arms through the love and care of their family and friends until they go in peace to their eternal above. We pray, Lord, be the light of our life. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgin Tegia, and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, be the light of our life. Father, Simeon rejoices to hold the child Jesus in his arms. May we also hold Jesus in our hands in all that we do until we come happily in the sunset of our lives. Amen. Please be seated. Sa putil ng trigo, 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, for you willed that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the light of the world as a lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so, we too give forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation. And with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perform within us, and as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.